tips max hi viewers in this video let me share some trick to find the largest and smallest fraction if the fraction is improper so this is only a portion of the trick that is we are going to find only for improper fraction because in this channel already we have uploaded a video that is to find the largest and smallest fraction if the fraction is proper and for some other types also so this is the continuation of that video only those who have not seen that video you may watch the link in the description box given below so now let us move on to the trick first one is type 1 so here are some fractions the fractions are 25 by 22 68 by 65 139 by 136 and 285 by 282 so in this question we are going to find which fraction is largest and which fraction is smallest so first we have to confirm whether the given fractions are improper fraction that is we have to find whether the numerator is greater than the denominator because if the numerator is greater than the denominator then the fraction is improper so in this problem in every fraction the numerator is greater than the denominator so the fractions are improper only so before applying the trick first what we have to do is we have to find the difference between the numerator and the denominator that is we have to find how much the numerator is greater than the denominator so in case of this problem the first fraction the difference between the numerator and the denominator is 3 so like that we have to find for the rest of the fractions also so for the rest of the fractions the difference between the numerator and denominator is 3 only so for this trick if the fraction is improper and the difference between the numerator and denominator is same what we have to do is we have to find the largest numerator among these fractions so the largest numerator among these fraction is 285 right so the largest numerator is the smallest fraction so the smallest fraction is now 285 by 282 we can apply this trick only when the difference between the numerator and denominator is same so now we have found the smallest fraction if we have to find the largest fraction what we have to do is we have to find the smallest numerator among these fractions so the smallest numerator among these fraction is 25 so the largest fraction is 25 by 22 i am repeating this trick once again so if the fractions are improper and the difference between the numerator and denominator is same in order to find the smallest fraction we have to find the largest numerator if you want to find the largest fraction we have to find the smallest numerator so now type 1 is over next we are going to see type 2 so in type 2 what we are going to see is the difference between the numerator and denominator is not same what we have to do this is the trick we are going to see in the type 2 so let us move on to the problem so here are some fractions the fractions are 12 by 10 23 by 20 15 by 13 18 by 17 so these fractions are improper only next we are going to find the difference between the numerator and denominator so difference is 2 3 2 and 1 that is the difference are not same so this is not type 1 since the difference is not same we cannot apply the trick one so what trick we are going to follow is we are going to find a new fraction so in the new fractions what we are going to do is we are going to replace the denominator that is in this fraction the denominators are 10 20 30 17 right what we are going to do is we are going to replace this denominator and we are going to insert the new denominator so the new denominator is nothing other than the difference only that is 12 by 10 is going to change as 12 by 2 and 23 by 20 is going to change as 23 by 3 and 15 by 13 is going to change as 15 by 2 and 18 by 17 is 18 by 1. So now we are going to find the normal school method only that is we are going to find the LCF for the new denominators 2, 3, 2 and 1. So why we have changed the denominator means so if we have not changed the denominator we are supposed to find the LCM for the numbers 10, 20, 13 and 17 which is quite difficult and moreover it is a time consuming process. Since we have changed the denominators, now we have to find the LCM for the numbers 2, 3 and 1 only. So the LCM for the numbers 2, 3 and 1 is 6. Let us take a note of that. Next what we are going to do, we are going to change the fraction into numbers. How we are going to do that? Let us see the calculation part now. So in case of first fraction 12 by 2, if you want to change it into a number, we have to multiply 12 by 2 into 6. Next, 23 by 3 into 6. Next, 15 by 2 into 6. Finally, 18 by 1 into 6. So if you do the calculation, the answer for 12 by 2 into 6 is 
36 for the next fraction it is 46 and for next it is 45 and for finally 18 into 6 is 108 now we have changed the fractions into numbers next now we are going to apply the trick the trick is that we are going to find the largest number among these numbers so in this case the largest number is 108 so the corresponding fractions for the largest number is the smallest fraction the same trick only what we have applied for type 1 only we are going to see here also in this case we are going to convert the fraction into number and we are going to apply the trick so the largest number is 108 so the corresponding smallest fraction is 18 by 17 so if you want to find the largest fraction what we have to do we have to find the smallest number among these numbers so the smallest number is 36 and the corresponding fraction for 36 is 12 by 10 so the largest fraction is 12 by 10 the trick is that we have to change the denominator of this fraction into a new denominator so the new denominator is none other than their corresponding difference then we have to change their fraction into the numbers so among these numbers we have to find the largest number so the corresponding fraction of the largest number is the smallest fraction likewise we have to find the smallest numbers so the corresponding fraction of the smallest number is the largest fraction so let us solve one more problem in this type then we will get a clear idea so here is one question so here are some fractions all fractions are improper first if you want to apply the trick what we have to do is we have to find the difference between the numerator and denominator so the differences are 4 5 2 and 1 so after finding the difference we are supposed to change the denominator so if we change the denominator we will get new fractions so the new fraction is 254 by 4 and in case of second it is 123 by 5 in case of third fraction it is 215 by 2 and in case of fourth fraction it is 189 by 1 so now we are going to find the lcm for the new denominators 4 5 and 2 so if we find the lcm for the numbers 4 5 and 2 it is 20 since we have changed the denominators finding lcm is very easy so if we have not changed we have to find the lcm for the numbers 250 118 213 and 188 which is quite difficult since we have find the lcm now we are going to change the fraction into numbers for that we are going to do the calculation the calculation is 254 by 4 into 20 for the first fraction and for second it is 123 by 5 into 20 for third fraction it is 215 by 2 into 20 and for the fourth fraction it is 189 by 1 into 20 so if we solve this for the first fraction we will get 1270 and for the second fraction we will get 492 and for third it is 2150 and finally for the fourth it is 3780 so now we have changed the fractions into numbers next what we have to do is we have to find the largest number among these fractions so the largest number among these fraction is 3780 so the corresponding fraction is the smallest fraction so the smallest fraction is 189 by 188 so now we have found the smallest fraction next we are going to find the smallest number among these fractions so the smallest number is 492 and the corresponding fraction 123 by 118 is the largest fraction so the trick is very easy and you can use this trick to find the largest and smallest fraction if the fraction is improper so once we know the largest and smallest fraction we can arrange these fractions in ascending order also and descending order also so this trick will be very helpful in competitive exams if you like this video press the like button share to your friends subscribe our channel tricky tips max if you want to receive notifications whenever i am posting the video press the bell icon Thank you.